what's up what's up oh snap it's your boy chris keys and i'm back and this is absolutely the best channel for music creators music producers and entrepreneurs today i want to talk about bpm and why it is important to use beats per measure you know guys there's a lot of songs when i first started i didn't put it on the grid on the bpm and then when it came to post-production or editing it was just an absolute nightmare so today i want to show you very quickly how to find the bpm now you want your doll to recognize the tempo and your song just like i said it's going to make it easier uh when you get to editing uh if you want to cut copy paste uh on your tracks and also if you want to go in later and add delays effects and stuff like that so what i did is pull up a track um that i made it doesn't have it just put it in like i said the tempo right now is 120 and i'll play a little bit of it and if i turn the the click on you can hear that it, the click is on 120 but obviously the beat is not 120. so a very quick way that you could do that there's a few ways you can do it but i'm going to show you one quick way to do it just to get started and that is go over here to your effects and go to metering all right and go to bpm counter and that's it let it do its work this little thing will come up press uh the space bar so you'll play and logic will automatically find the tempo for you 126 so now i can go in change the tempo to 126 Turn my click back on. And you see it matches up. Now let's go back and do, just say, say I wanna edit one little part. If I if it's not on the grid, if it's at 120, you know, I gotta now zoom in and try to find, okay, is this where it starts, you know, here? It's, it's just too much. But when I go to 126, put it on the grid, now I exactly knows, you know, this is 19, that's that's the beginning of a bar. So if I wanna repeat a bar, say I wanna repeat this twice or something, I can now do that, a little extra bar. Repeat it. You know, we can get fancy with it. Let's just try to uh, just do a quick breakdown. Let's see if I was to play around. Now that I'm on the grid, you can see how easily it is to match up. So, uh, uh -huh. So I can just cut it. Let's just uh, move this over one more. You know? And this is just like real quick, just so you can get the idea of it. Yeah. See what I'm saying? I would never be able to do that if it was not on a grid. And that is the advantages. Like I said, your post production is going to go to a whole nother level when you start using your BPM on a grid. And in it, if you ever want to slow the track down, if I uh, let's just play around with something real quick. If I want to slow down or halftime uh, something, you know, I can easily do that now that it's on the grid. Say uh, I had this bar. Let's play it. You hear it on the grid. Say I want to just cut that in half or, or slow it down in half. It's automatically, I can go over to my little shortcut tool here and Logic should it speed it up actually uh, twice as fast. Let's see. You know, I mean, it, it's, it doesn't sound the best because, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that, but you can easily see that it does work. These tricks do work uh, when you do have it on the grid. Or let's just say I want to uh, make it twice as long. So we'll go back and let's do it like this. Now this is really going to sound distorted because I've done too much editing, but let's check it out. You see, it, it still matches up whatever editing tricks you want to do. If I went in, if this was a vocal and I wanted to add delays or some type of echoes, it would match up with the song and it's also good guys to use the BPM uh, if you're starting out and recording beats or making beats because if you ever want to share your session with another collaborator you want to make it easy for them to just open up your files and, and receive your sessions and put it in their BPM uh, and it and it lines up for them so guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial also be sure to check out my website the keys method 
www.ethereumpodcast.com. I have my signature gear and merch there. And you can also support me there in this channel by going to there. All right, guys, you guys have a great week. And as always, stay creative. Peace.